What's up, my finalists? It's Miss Finandi coming to you all from Green Entertainment News. Most of you are aware that Dr. G from Married to Medicine, yes, squad ex-husband, he is now married. If you missed that video, I have included the link in the description below. And that's why I said most of you, meaning the people who come to my channel and support me, you got to see the video I did on their wedding. But you can click that first link if you missed it to watch the video, of course everyone been on them already about when you're gonna have kids i'm like jesus just got married two seconds ago give them time but on their honeymoon they hopped on instagram live and basically talked about it so let's get into that oh man you missed my best commentary wow <laughs> i was talking about the architecture and everything i was talking about we can't make a baby on the top of this boat because we don't go to jail probably get killed out in this no, no, we gotta we like gotta that. uh Abiding and adhere to these customs here. Hey man, these people know how to live decently, man. They are respectful, it's peaceful, it's clean. Thank you. Everything out here is deaf. I know, it's clean. I noticed cold. that in the bathroom. Yeah. We went to um, Global Village yesterday, and man, you know, something like that, you, it would be trashed out. You already know if it was in America. It's very clean. Oh, they keep asking about the babies. Well, you know, time will tell. We we gonna be trying. We trying. Yeah, we're definitely ready to have a baby for sure. You definitely ready. Um, you know, y'all have to wait and see. <laughs> yeah. You know, we about to get working on it. You ready? You already know the answer to that question. <laughs> Yeah, we're both ready. It says Greg needs a baby. Yeah, it's Gregory. We're like right yeah, down yeah, this yeah. season. I have a twin brother. His yeah, name his name is Greg. His, and uh, his, we never really went through it um, until uh, obviously it's been overdue. Right. Yeah. So my grandmother named us Greg and Gregory because she said the G's would be lucky. My parents respected her enough to go through, and it's been lucky. We've been nothing but blessed. Yeah, so yeah, we have been correcting people uh, this season. That is actually Gregory because we, you know, we just got married, had our wedding, and his brother name was Greg. So I kept reminding everybody in the family because people are just so quick to shorten Gregory and say Greg on their own. But hey, I mean, can we blame them? But in your case, your brother name is Greg. Just call me Doctor G, and if you don't want to call me that, then call me Never Late for Dinner. I ain't never late, never late. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he don't miss no meals. Oh wow, let me show him that right there, that view. Uh, man, it's so nice. But it's that twins is what we need. <laughs> it's a possibility we might have twins. Hey, the, uh, the guy. this Egyptian um, oil maker we saw in the market last night. He told randomly us said that, that like we had twins. twins. He was like something about twins. I see twins. He said, "Yeah, it was so random." He was like, "I see twins. I see twins in y'all's future." I'm like, "Oh wow!" Really? And he gave us some free oil. Yeah. Much and, love. <laughs> much love to the Egyptian guy at Global Village. But, uh, yeah, that was kind of weird. He also said I looked Egyptian, which, you know, I can't tell you, man. <laughs> you can't tell him. <laughs> Go ahead and get that, uh, what is it? No, I did. I got my um, DNA testing. You done. did? Yeah. I never did that, mine. I'm like 50% Sub-Saharan African. Mm, yeah. My mama did it. I'm like. No American Indian. Well, I don't know they what happened. to me, man. They lied to me. I got Indian in my blood. Only Indian I got in my blood. Hey, it's white man. <laughs> it's white man. It's white man. It's white man. <laughs> yeah, mo, my mom was like 93% African, so West Sub Saharan and uh West African. I think it was like 75%. But like but all together it was like all African, like 93% of it. I was like, see I know my people. So yeah, that was really weird though. Yeah, we need to trace our roots, man. We need to do that. Mm -hmm. I've been, I've been wanting to do that because you know how I feel about, you know, when it comes down to being black, man. When them loose cousins get to popping up, you be like, who did what? 
to who? How 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 we got a cousin like a mile away? You know what I'm saying? We never met her. I know. Grandpa was creeping. We actually um we actually went to go get our marriage license in uh at the Atlanta it was on the Fulton County Courthouse. Fulton County Courthouse. Yeah, we went to the Fulton County Courthouse and I came across somebody that was my cousin. And she knew, like, you know, my mom, my dad, and everything. I was like, dang. Whole family member. Yeah, whole family member. She was like, yeah, my uh, my uh, grandfather was her uncle. So, I was like, dang. How y'all know that? Oh, look at that view. Hey, look. This view right here. To the, to the left, to That's the amazing. Oh, my God. So nice. Ghana. Okay, Ghana. I don't know who. I think I'm Nigerian, babe. Real. They say we ain't got to go boat. home, but we got to get the hell off this boat. <laughs> what do you have? You guys have planned any kids, any babies in there? Of course. I'm not Toya's sister. No, I'm not. Toya's just my friend. I have a sister. I have two sisters. But um, no, I mean, we just look alike. That's all that is. You know, it's just one of the things when they say black people look like, I guess me and Toya look alike. But I really wish I had, like, it was some type of thing where I can get a dollar. Oh, Jesus, I'm about to follow y'all. Baby, you just don't leave me. Uh huh. The struggle is real. <laughs> yeah, but we plan on having babies real soon. Uh, as soon as possible. That is uh, something that we are always going to be working on. So, so nice, beautiful. Here, baby, take that. Y'all should do ancestry to see if you and Toya related. <laughs> I know Toya from Detroit, and I'm from well, my family's originally from Arkansas, so maybe we'll do that one day. I don't know. I just doubt it. We just look alike. All right, babe, we got we to gotta sign off. Oh, okay. Well, I'm up. Thank you. They said they miss you on TV, babe. Mr. Swag. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Mini Cooper Swag. Mini <laughs> Cooper Swag. <laughs> Mini Cooper Swag. Baby, I don't know about that one. They never drove one. You never drove one. You don't know how. You know I don't care about that kind of stuff with cars. And stuff. I can do it out. I can do it out. Okay, so... You're super happy, darling. You're here, babe. Take it. Say bye-bye. We got to go. We got to pay the driver. Ah. <laughs> If you are someone who used to watch Marriage and Medicine, then you are aware of his story and how much he wanted to have children with his ex-wife Quad, but she wasn't ready. I don't have to go into details, you know the story. So I'm happy for him that he's now in a relationship and in a marriage where his wife is ready to have kids. We also know Dr. G and Quad history and the reason why she had reservations. So I'm not going to sit here and pretend like everything was perfect and they did not have their issues but this is not that video i'm just happy that everyone is moving forward quad is doing her thing he's doing his thing congratulations and that's that of course they were on their honeymoon so they took beautiful pictures sightseeing and all of that but i want to get this video up before the night is over so i'm just going to focus on their conversation about their background and also having children on this Instagram live, people brought up his ex-wife Quad and they did respond. So I'm going to post that in the next video I upload tomorrow. I just want to get this video up, like I said, before the night is over. But the next one I post on them is going to have all of the conversations about Quad because they did not shy away from people bringing her up. More pictures from their honeymoon and also social media reaction to them possibly being on a new season of Married to Medicine and Married to Medicine fans basically warning Dr. G new wife to stay away from TV. But hey, we shall see. I will be back with all of that tomorrow. I'm wishing all of you well and take care. I love thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. 
go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up also turn on notifications so when i do post you where i post it and i will see you all in the comment section remember to always have the god bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation have a great day guys god bless